Hi, so my name is Claire and I have been given truancy as my mini lesson to teach. So the definition of truancy is staying away from school for no good reason, meaning the kids or the child does not um, have a good reason for missing school, like a parent did not call in or things like that. And um, a kid could be truant because um, they don't feel like coming to school and maybe at their home they don't have the best home life so the parent is okay with them missing school because the parent is you know just letting them kind of do whatever they want um kids with chronic illnesses such as asthma or type 1 diabetes are exempt from this rule um, because of their illness um, and because they can't really control that um in illinois there is a law against truancy um, and i got this from illinoispolicy.org um, and it says, if you've been given notice that your child has been absent from school without a valid cause or and you willingly know and you are fully aware that they have been at home um, and not coming to school and missing school and you don't have like a good reason for them to miss school, um, the parent or guardian can be charged with a class C misdemeanor, um, meaning they can either have get 30 days in jail or a $500 fine or both. So that's a pretty hefty charge um, if you are caught, if your child is missing school and you're not really doing anything about it. Um, th so I've written out some scenarios um, that could be a reason or things that would affect truancy. So like, say, you know, Sam um, is in fifth grade and he has not been coming to school. Um, the first two times he hasn't been coming to school, the principals and, you know, people at school made a phone call home. Um, and they were trying to, like, you know, reason with um, Sam's guardians about the reason that he was not coming to school. And the guardians, um, the parent or guardians were just like, you know, he's not coming to school. I can't force him. Like, I guess he'll make up his work when he makes up his work. Um, so that is an example of truancy because the parent willingly knows and f is fully aware that Sam is not coming to school and they are not trying to do anything about it. Um, another example, which is harder to do nowadays, but um, like kind of back in the day, well not back in the day, but probably about 20 years ago, you could, um, you know, sneak out of school earlier, go home earlier without your parents knowing and you wouldn't really get in trouble. Um, but obviously nowadays that is something that you will get in trouble for. Um, so that's also another example of truancy. Um, and also kind of touching back on the reason kids skip school. Um, maybe some kids feel like, you know, school isn't for them because they can't succeed, you know, because they don't feel that they're in, like, the right grade level because maybe the things that they're learning, is, it's too hard for them. Um, so if that's the case, then I suggest having a conversation, obviously, with the school counselor or with somebody in the school that can, you know, help your child not feel that way. Um, but all in all, um, kids should not be skipping school and they need to go to school. So thank you for listening.